Hey guys, welcome to Instant Film Friday, where I talk about instant photography, photography in general. I do camera reviews, gear reviews. If that is something you guys are into, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video, do all that YouTubery stuff, and turn on bell notifications so you guys don't miss my weekly episodes. Today, as you can see, I am sitting in my car. A couple weeks ago, I did an unboxing of an item, and that was the Mint Flash Bar 2, which is this item right here. I will link that video in the cards somewhere around here. So if you guys haven't checked that out, definitely do that and tell me what you guys think about the Flash Bar. But the reason why I'm in my car is because I got a comment on that video that I just mentioned from a YouTube subscriber named Afrain Camacho. Thank you for your suggestion. Basically what Afrain said was that he wanted me to try taking the flash bar and my SX-70 into a bright day outdoors and use 600 film. In my previous video, I mentioned that the reason why I really like the flash bar is because it adds an ND compensation to your film, which allows you to use 600 film in your SX-70. And apparently there is some interest in seeing if it works outside in bright weather outdoors. So that is why I have my SX-70 and my flash bar. I'm going to be trying that out here in a bit and I'll show you guys what I find out. So me and my buddy Aaron are hiking Goose Pond. Say hi Aaron. Oh, hi. Here in New Hampshire and I have my tripod and my SX-70 in my backpack so I can get some awesome outdoor shots. And yeah, hopefully this flash bar works well with the 600 film in bright outdoor conditions. I'll show you my setup when we get to where I want to take a picture. So as we're hiking, I found a couple cool places where I wanted to take a picture and I realized two things. One, I forgot the mounting plate to my tripod, so that was out, but I figured, you know, I could have done a handheld shot. So we stopped again and I went to pull my camera out and I realized the second thing was I forgot the flash bar in my other pack. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm using a new backpack that I transferred my stuff into and I just forgot the mounting plate to my tripod and also the flash bar, which I wanted to test. So this hike in terms of instant photography was a fail. The hike itself is awesome. I will show you guys some of the views real quick and then I will try again next hike. Hey guys, so Aaron and I just finished our hike and it went great, but it's really nice out. So we need to go to the store for a couple things. So what we're gonna do is swing by my place, grab my flash bar and then finally take a picture. So that is our next step in the day. So hopefully we'll get a good picture because it's still super bright out. So this picture taking is becoming the adventure we stopped by my place, I grabbed my camera bag, which had my flash bar and other camera goodies. And we are currently walking to a trail behind Target, which is not as creepy as it sounds. It's actually a walking trail. And as you can see, it's still super bright. And we are going to get some instant photography and see how this flash bar holds up with 600 film in the bright sunlight. So stay tuned for that. So I'm back at home and as you guys can see from my previous clips in this video, today was a struggle. It was a learning experience though and I did find out that using the mint flash bar outdoors using 600 film does not work. This is what about $18 in ruined film looks like. 
all the pictures are overexposed. Some of these you can see the faint outline of what I was trying to take a picture of, but nothing discernible. So definitely a learning experience there. I did get one good picture. This was indoors of my cat Ziggy sleeping. So that was a plus, but definitely shooting outdoors with 600 film in an SX-70 using the mint flash bar is a no-go. Thanks to Efrain Camacho for giving me the idea to try this out because I was super curious and that answers your question. If you guys like this video, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Give this video a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next week.